how's it going? It's That Nerd Ryan here, and today we are going to be talking about the Moro arc of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, so, recently I have gotten into the manga, as you know. I did cover the original run, which is already animated. You can see the Tournament of Power in the back here. Uh, and the reason why we're playing the Tournament of Power itself is because the whole point of this arc is technically to... Um, basically show Goku managing to control Ultra Instinct. Uh, so this story does have a lot of parallels with like the Cell Saga uh, along with other things but it also um, had some of its own original stuff. We get introduced to new characters such as the villain Mur uh, Moro but we also get um, Neerus who has a little plot twist that we'll get to uh, more galactic patrol people. Uh, we also get some of Moro's gang, like 7-3 and Saganbro and uh, other characters like so. Um, and with it, there's also some gripes. So I'm going to cover the story really quick. So this takes place after the Broly movie. And uh, we know that because there's a little cutaway scene of Gogeta fighting Broly. And then it cuts to this. So this takes place a little bit after. Goku's still trying to achieve Ultra Instinct with training. Uh, Vegeta, of course, is trying to surpass him and usual stuff. Uh, but we also see that Vegeta's a little bit more doing it for other reasons. We'll get to that too. So basically, during this, Majin Buu gets abducted. Nobody knows why Majin Buu is getting abducted. They have to go and look and find out why. Um, and it's by the Galactic Patrol themselves. So they go and figure out that some prisoner that was sealed away thousands of years ago by... or millions of years ago by the Great Kai that uh, Buu absorbed is uh, released again and only the Kai that Buu absorbed knows how to catch him. So, we are introduced to Moro here, who is very old, um, and uh, basically he has the power to devour worlds and everything like that, and he goes, fights, uh, they go to try to stop him and fight him. We also get introduced to Miris, who is a Galactic Patrol agent, who's got a little bit more oomph in him than is revealed. Uh, we find out why that is later on, but uh, everybody starts suspecting something about him. Uh, during this, Goku tries to, or they spot Morton Muro, and uh, Goku tries to get Vegeta to use instant transmission, who Vegeta um, denies instant transmission through, like, basically all of this series. Um, so we go ahead and we uh, see them meet Moro finally on New Namek, of course, of all places. And in this, Moro is collecting the Dragon Balls uh, for three wishes. He's also using one of Frieza's old soldiers to fight. Uh, and in this, he promises that the one the soldier will get free, like a free wish, as long as Moro gets two. Uh, during this fight. Moro, uh, or the Frieza soldier, puts everything, all the Dragon Balls together, a lot of Namekians died, and Moro goes back out of word, basically, and um, kills the Frieza soldier and gets his third wish, uh, which his wishes were immortality, uh, or his youth back, his magic back, I believe was the second one and all the prisoners of the Galactic Patrol to be put away. Uh, during this, he also destroys Namek again, and um, they kind of flee. Uh, during this, Vegeta goes off to um, train on the same planet that Goku trained for instant transmission, and Goku goes off to train with Miris. Um, during this, we find out that Miris is an angel, and that Vegeta's training is going to take a little while longer. While they disappeared, the Galactic Patrol um, recruits the other Z fighters to help protect Earth, and Miro finds out about Earth. 
they go to fight. We get introduced to 7-3 there, who is an android who can absorb powers from other people. Uh, during that, Gohan basically helps defeat 7-3, but Goku shows up and is able to do that. In this, he unleashes Ultra Instinct Sign, which is the precursor to Ultra Instinct. I thought it was up on screen for a second, so I was going to point. Um, but this is actual Ultra Instinct on screen. But he is using Sign, which is not the full potential of it, um, during this fight. And then Vegeta comes back. And Vegeta learned Spirit Fission, which basically helps uh, heal up or take away all the stuff that Moro stole and send it back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, in this fight, he ends up, like, Moro ends up kind of reversing that in a sense, and then Goku starts to fight, but then Mirus jumps in, which he breaks the one rule of angels are not to interfere, uh, so Mirus disappears, which also kicks Goku into that final step of reaching Ultra Instinct pure ultra instinct which is what's on screen right now um and during that uh he fights moro basically beats him to a pulp and then of course he goes and asks jacko he goes so is he supposed to die and they're like yeah he's supposed to die and he goes okay i quit the galactic patrol moro have you ever trained before he's like no and he goes you should train and be stronger uh, just go to prison, like, seriously. And Moro's like, yeah, yeah, sure. And then he goes and steals the, um, a hand that got cut off earlier by Miris, that had Miris's power, and gets Miris's power, which then evens him out with Goku. However, the power is too much for Moro's body, which he starts expanding, and he fuses with the Earth. Uh... And during this, Vegeta does his own version of a spirit bomb to give Goku extra energy. Um, and we actually get Oob uh, dedicating some of the energy that gives Goku extra strength to become basically a giant kaiju version of himself to fight Miro. And that's how he beats him. And it ends with uh, Mira still surviving, but he's immortal now. And... Uh, Beerus and Whis getting punished for uh, basically letting that happen along with Supreme Kai, uh, where they have to be the uh, Lord of Everything's bodyguards for a week, which basically they're playthings, and then uh, just stuff like that, and then it ends showing Granola, the next villain. So we should be covering that hopefully soon. Uh, I just got, or I'm on the last chapter of 15. We're also really quickly going to just wrap this up because there's an ad. But uh, yeah, we uh, finish that, and then we'll get to that. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you.